The Welcome Home website is down. I repeat, the Welcome Home website is down. Sound the alarms. This is it. It's all over. We're all gonna die. <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. Yes, the Welcome Home website is down at the moment, but it's coming back. Don't worry. For those of you that don't know, a big Welcome Home website update is coming, and I am so freaking excited for it. So I got a few comments talking about the Welcome Home website being down, and I was like, huh, that's interesting. And then a lot of people in the Discord, by the way, we have a Discord. The link is in the description if you want to join. It's tons of fun. They sent a link to Clown's Tumblr post talking about why the website is down and when it will be coming back. So I'm going to read that for you right now. If you've read the post linked above, you will know the website will go down officially tomorrow and we will say goodbye. Out with the old, in with the new, New Year's talk, etc. I will not return in February beyond our last preview and the website's return on March 1st. How exciting. I'm not sure if folks are looking at this house still, but I'm content regardless to think someone is out there waiting too. I hope the change I've gone through will make these updates easier and more frequent. I love Welcome Home more than anything, but thank you for your support. I hope to talk to you in March. Thank you. So the website will be back March 1st with the update. Heck yeah. Like I said, I'm so excited for this update because there's been a lot of questions regarding the Welcome Home lore, especially within the past few updates. There were a lot of these cryptic instructions left on the website that in the last little update was responded to by who we are assuming is Wally. By the way, I did make videos on all the previous updates, so if you haven't seen those already and you know you're trying not to get spoiled or you're like, what the heck is going on? You can check those out. I actually have a playlist on the channel, so you can go ahead and check that out to get caught up. And in the Halloween update, we learned that Sally may or may not be able to reach out to us as well, which left a lot of people, myself included, with questions. And I have a feeling a lot of our questions are are going to be answered on this next update because it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty big deal. With that being said, I think before this new update, we should definitely look at some fan theories from the comment sections of the past videos. I've missed doing these and you guys have left a lot of comments with theories since the last one, so I'm excited to look through these and see what you guys what what's what you guys are thinking. So Eldritch underscore crow had a theory regarding Sally. Oh I always had a theory that Sally was based off a loved one of Ronald Dora Lane, the Welcome Home TV show creator. I'm gonna be so real. I forgot about Ronald Dora Lane for a hot second, but I was not thinking about how we fit into this equation at all. Maybe I should have had that in the back of my head, but I always thought this because for one thing, Sally has a passion for the theater arts and Ron obviously had a passion for film, which are very similar arts. Sally is a star too, so this could also mean that if she was truly based off a loved one of Ron, it could have been known to him as the light of his life or his star. It's a stretch, but maybe he was based off his wife, perhaps? That is if he even had one, since we literally know nothing about this guy, but there's definitely something up with Sally. Side note, I feel like everyone forgets about him despite him being the TV show's creator because apart from being stated as the show's creator, he's never mentioned afterwards. That's kind of funny because I literally just said I, for I, forgot <laughs> I forgot his existence. But you know what? You're right. Honestly, there's so much we don't know about that guy and I feel like something's up. Definitely something's up because if he created the show and we've got all these weird like paranormal activity things going on with the Welcome Home website update and Welcome Home in general, then... He probably has something to do with it. So I don't know, maybe we'll get some more news about that sometime soon. But I do think that is a very good and interesting theory, so I'm excited to see what else is to come. Chat4538 says, You ever notice on the bouncing banner that has their heads, there's a heart between every character except for Wally and Home? Also, it kind of makes me think of that quote, Home is where the heart is. So what does that say about Wally and Home though? That Home isn't where Wally's heart is or Home isn't Wally's home? Also about hearts being on the bottom of his shoes. Whose hearts is he stepping on? I never noticed that. And also that's a very good thought. I know a very big theory in the Welcome Home community is the fact that Wally is being controlled by Home and Home is just not a good person? It, wait, home is a house. Not a very good being. That home is a dark entity who is harming the characters of Welcome Home and, you know, dragging Wally down with him and controlling him to do all these evil sorts of things. Maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe that's, maybe that's telling us something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Home is not giving me like a warm, cozy, like, yay, I'm home vibe. It's giving me a, oh my gosh, there are demons in my attic. I need to get out of this house. It needs to be cleansed vibe. Ooh, this one is interesting. Joey Faircloth 9308 says, my theory is that Wally and Home are the same entity, with Home being the main body and Wally being a literal puppet that Home controls and uses for his mouthpiece. That is really interesting. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like that one. Jennifer Janes 4826 says, I think that Wally is being forced by home to get us to save him because if you listen back to one of the audios, his voice sounds like a demon is controlling him and trying to get us to save him, but the other neighbors don't know and that the real Wally is being held hostage in home and put to sleep until home has finished his work. We don't know what work it is and the reason Barnaby is in most of the videos is because he knows something is not right and Wally is not the real Wally and now Sally knows and is trying to warn us not to believe in the home and the fake Wally Darling. Honestly, you might be onto something. I have a strong feeling that Wally is not the only soul trapped in Welcome Home. After the Halloween update with Sally, and like a previous comment mentioned, the fact that like they seem very human-like in the videos and like secret uh, hidden tapes on the website, it's just like it's almost too real to be recordings of people acting you know what i'm saying if that makes sense i don't think it made sense but hopefully it made sense razor the red lantern 6203 says with all the sally imagery i wonder if the creature slash bad guy has taken control of her rather than wally like we first thought and wally had just simply got caught in the middle of this horrible situation i wonder i mean i wonder and oh i'm sorry because sally was talking about like an evil monster that's coming for the neighbors in home so maybe it did get to her maybe that's what's controlling wally maybe it is home i don't know cool neko girl 9259 says here's my theory about sally i think that sally was actually a child who used to love the show while it was still on the air and i love to theater along with anything relating to space since her head is the shape of a sun and since she's been in the neighborhood for so long she's trying to communicate with someone from the outside world to help her escape the neighborhood that has become a prison to her so now she needs help so that way her soul can pass to the other side that's a very interesting theory i like this theory for sally a lot along with the one with uh ron door lane. All right, well, I think that is going to be all of the theories I'm going to be looking at today. Thank you all for commenting. I really do love reading through the comments and looking at all of your theories because man, there are some freaking good ones. But yeah, if you guys have any other theories regarding, you know, what this new update is going to hold, let me know in the comment section down below because I do love doing these videos. They are super fun and I'm just really hyped for the welcome home update. I cannot wait. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.